Storia. Storia. Что за история? Она еще и на русском. <laughs> Зашибись. <laughs> Управление зайди, может там вибрация джойстика будет. Once upon a time, the infamous rover Renada plundered the floating isles. Then his mother called him to her deathbed. Swear to me that you won't die on the gallows. She rasped. Reluctantly, he swore. And he whiled away his days at home with music, cards, and wine. But the Emperor had changed. He'd been good once. A shy, almost Jabba humble <laughs> toad. He built universities. Then people started whispering about mass graves in the woods, midnight rituals, victims screaming. The Imperial Ravens would round up entire villages, and no one ever returned. The Ravens had come to Ubar scouting for ancient books said to be of great power, but the librarians had hidden the books. So they'd burnt the librarians. The citizens, outraged, had driven them off. The ravens had come back with drop ships. The kid had fled with one of those books. He was brave, dumb, and wanted to join the rebellion. And Renato had promised his mother he'd protect him. Ну, Мабас пересек границу Швеции. Кто? Мабас. Какой Мабас? Мой. А, телефон? Да. Границу Швеции пересек. Да. То есть твой телефон в Швеции, а ты в Москве? Нет, он уже пересек границу Швеции. То есть твой телефон сейчас у меня Швеции, но где-то, но не в Нежи. Но не в России. Но не в Швеции точно. А ты, значит, здесь, в Москве. Бля, хуёво ты живешь, даже телефон веселее тебя живет. Даже телефон может, блядь, быть за границей, а ты нет, блядь. My mother died for this book! I promised her I'd protect you! Ah, oh, damn it. The kid had run off. With the book, of course. Damn it. So Renato had to run after him. Oh, Боже, вид сверху. Ненавижу вид сверху. Окей, хорошо. Защитить пидера. Ну, прыжки по-любому есть. Угу. Нет. Пока, наверное, нет. The two ravens were staring at the kid like he was their dinner. Which probably was what was in their tiny brains. Hey, hey, Renato said. They cocked their heads at him. Pick on someone as ugly as you. Wait, that didn't come out right. For the Emperor! The ravens called and rushed at him. Another big feast. Comba. Да это же, мать его, Дэвил Майкай! С бонусом. Сказочный вариант. Ты там СССР уже выпил, ой. Супер смокин стайл. Someone's idea of a joke, making the Skyship Docks a gated community. You needed a hero's sword to open it. And the kid was on the other side of the gate. 
Who let you through? Promise me you'll take the book to the rebels. Or I'm gonna steal your ship. I'm not taking the damn book anywhere. And neither are you. Try and stop me, laughed the kid. I bet you don't even have a hero sword. And with that, the kid hopped away. Had to hand it to the kid. He was an idiot, but he had guts. Where was Renardo going to get a hero sword? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And win essence? Да это же батл бой, да? Только здесь сверху и на мечах. Плюс все эти Руда Ты решил просто звучит. Субстанция ветра. На одним по столько субстанции выделяю. Субстанция ветра. Что у тебя тот меч, который Да, я не знаю, тот The kid's mum had been a swelled cook, and she'd laugh when I would joke. And the ravens had come to burn her. And she'd made him promise to protect the kid. And she never told him where the book was. Just the kid. He came up to me then. It was too far to jump. There'd been a bridge here before, hadn't there? And there was Peter, giggling at him. How'd you get across? He asked the kid. Where'd you find a hook? I hopped, said the kid. Wise ass kid. Hey, look out behind you! Q, said Renardo. Ah, oh, ravens. It was time to talk some sense into the kid. Hook his way across the ledge and chase the kid down. Thing was, he hadn't used his hook since he'd retired. Maybe if he meditated at that altar there, he'd remember his old skills. Starting to come back to him. Something you never completely forgot. Like how to freeze time when attacking. The more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. She was the fastest ship he'd ever known. She could do the Kessel run in 12 furlongs. Oh, so the salesman told him. And something told him the kid was about to walk into an ambush. Stop! Stop! He shouted at I'm not giving you the book! Shouted the kid and took off. No! Peter! But the kid ran for it. And a goggler nailed him with its eyes. Unburned. Next to it were the buckles from the kid's shoes and the kid sized pile of ashes. Damn it, why hadn't he lied and told the kid he'd take the book to the rebels? The kid would be alive now. Really pissed off and betrayed, but 
Alive. Oh, damn it. Renardo picked up the book. He couldn't let the Empire have it now. He was going to have to get it out of there. He'd be a wanted man. Probably have to join the rebellion just to have a place to dock. Well, he'd hated home life anyway. What was the big deal about this book anyway? Maybe he should open it and find out. All that had been years ago. How many? The war was a blur. And now three Raven scout ships were chasing it. Where are you running, rebel? Cord the Raven captain over the loud hailer. Renato could see them cranking up their catapults. Just going out for milk? Oh. Renato yelled back. Where can you run? Laughed the Raven horribly. Far behind him, another city was burning. The dark cloud above its island was thousands of Imperial ships. The fleet was doing a thorough job. Take us to the rebel base, and we'll spare your life! It called. The entire jury-rigged rebel fleet was only a few islands to the east. Beyond that were only the Pillars of Heaven, a sea of endless blood-colored tornadoes. The rebellion was out of time, unless Renardo could bring a game-changer. Maybe he could. Renardo had found out where he could find the pieces of the Sky Ripper. The legendary weapon that had exiled the lost gods. Surely a legendary weapon could win the final battle. On the other hand, his old friend Lupino had sent Renato a desperate message saying he had a brilliant scheme to save the rebellion. If Renato could only rescue him. Renato dived the farfare towards the abyss. As he felt the heat of the jet stream, the raven ships peeled off, not stable enough to follow him down there. Now it was time to choose. Lapino or the Sky River. Apparently, the mad rabbit had sold a Pegasus that he did not exactly own. Lupino always wiggled out of trouble, given time. But he was out of time. The Ravens had figured out that Lupino was a rebel spy. If the fleet reached him first, they'd string him up for that. Never mind the winged horse. Чат от The Lost Legacy. Lapino had apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen a winged horse. He'd only sold it. But wait. Where was the prison? The village was empty. Had... had everybody fled the ravens? There were stickers all over the platform for really hot lady foxes with pictures and addresses and everything. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Окей. Может, ты уже приземлишься? Ты заебался уже. The Raven had taken the town. Renato had seen villages emptied like this. All the people were taken away to be sacrificed in the Emperor's secret rituals. Renato hoped the people were just hiding. Или фуги. Фуги. Да, не может фуги быть, она еще не вышла. Ну вот уже есть. Может, это комплект предзаказа? Соединенные Штаты. Ну, я думаю, было бы что-то написано, вроде предзаказ. Приорги. Приорги, там предзаказ. Ну, приорги. Ну, предзаказ. Эх, мечты, мечты, да? Фри тупой. Ну, это и Ну, это да, и ну да, то, что мы с тобой хотели скачать. Ага. Ты просто согласен или согласен? Ты аллогишен. Ты аллогишен, как ты аллогишен. Реально, вот да, нет. Ты смотришь, представляешь? Ravens weren't picky. If they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoners. <laughs> Even top spies like Lupino. Where had the mad rabbit got to? I need you. <laughs> Пес надо будет что загрузить. Пес надо будет что загрузить. Какой пес? 17. Твой Evolution Socket. Socket? Socket. Ну, футбол. Только он. Только не FIFA, а пес. Data Raw Life. Пятый. Бесплатный. Last Round. Это PlayStation Plus? Не, PSN Game. Просто бесплатный, можно скачать. Не PlayStation Plus. Вон. Last Round. Надо будет скачать. Mm -hmm. Ну что одно здоровье это, господи, вы заебали здоровье. Я так охренею. Да ладно, мах, что-то какой-то. Твои фрейдемы, блин. Триал. А, триал, все, я понял, что за триал. Че? Да это я про соки, это спец. Mm -hmm. Starting to come back to something you never completely forgot, like how to freeze time when attacking. The more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. Ну шестнадцатый можно. А вот шестнадцатый. На этот раз я больше не знаю. Я валю шестьсот дел. Ну что, давай еще чуть-чуть и завязываю с этой чуть игрой. Ну, так будет начинать. Ренардо felt a chill run down his back. Or possibly a flea. Renato 
wondered if he could learn to cook this way. Mm, probably not. Dirty and bloody, Renardo finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing his shuffle. Renardo recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah, we said this guard owed me 53 ducats. So we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows, and that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and oh, his only daughter? That would be worth it. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky River, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. Не, я остановил пока что показ. Че, вырубать ее пока? Ну, то следующую вырубай просто. Ну, остановил, выходи из игры и запускай следующую. Там еще три штуки. Че, садись из тогда? Ну, давай. Надеюсь, следующий на русском.